Amber Heard finally spoke out about the infamous defamation trial between her and Johnny Depp, and it was ugly. She won't admit defeat and it's clear that she still isn't over her ex-husband and all the drama. Her spokesperson is spitting facts and revealing to us the real reason why Amber did that viral interview. According to the spokesperson, Johnny's team was all over the media for days right after the trial and they think they deserve a chance in the spotlight too. They claim that Amber simply intended to respond to what they aggressively did last week and that she was only expressing her thoughts and feelings, which she wasn't allowed to do on the trial. Well, there's a reason for that, right? You can't just go around ruining another person when it was proven that you actually defamed him. The jury ultimately ruled in Johnny's favor after finding clear and convincing evidence that Amber defamed him. He's awarded $15 million for compensatory and punitive damages. Oof, that's data hurt for Amber. She has to defend her name somehow. So here's what she did. Amber did an exclusive two-part interview with Savannah Guthrie on the Today Show. Even if you think that I'm lying, you still couldn't look me in the eye and tell me that you think on social media there's been a fair representation. You cannot tell me that you think that this has been fair. The actress made it clear that she won't back down and will always stand by her statement that Johnny Depp physically and psychologically abused her. Do you stand by your testimony and your accusations against Johnny Depp about abuse? Of course, to my dying day, we'll stand by every word of my testimony. Even though it was proven that she did all this to defame him, she's still defending her op-ed piece on the Washington Post too. When asked why she wrote it, she reasons out that she did it because she was loaning her voice to a bigger cultural conversation that time. When you're living in violence and it becomes, it becomes normal, as I testified to, you have to adapt. Wasn't it proven that she did everything to ruin Johnny's career and his whole life? It's like she didn't learn anything from that trial. To be honest, Johnny and his team weren't even aggressive post-trial. Elaine Bredehoff did a more intrusive job on her own compared to their team. She was going around doing a bunch of interviews, saying the same things over and over again. She was blaming the judge, calling out the jury, and was warning the public that they haven't seen the last of Amber Heard. All at the same time, we've seen Johnny's lawyers on screen maybe once or twice and they didn't do anything offensive like her. They actually expressed their disappointment on the slander Elaine is doing but they didn't say mean things about her. Ah yes, professionals. We we wished Amber and her team were like that. We don't get what they mean by aggressively. Honestly, Johnny Depp has been loved by everyone on the internet and they were actively showing their support even during the six-week trial. The support they got after winning isn't surprising at all. They didn't put a spell on us or performed a miracle just so we could support them. The actor did make a TikTok account with only one video uploaded, where he was thanking everyone for believing in him because if it wasn't for us, he couldn't have done it. He said his account gained almost 6 million followers overnight. That's another proof why he's actually the GOAT the greatest of all time. It looks like things are finally looking up for him. Amber Heard can continue slandering Johnny Depp in the media, but we know what truly went on during that trial. It's clear that she really won't take responsibility for something she's guilty of. Thanks for watching and see you in our next videos.